All right, guys, welcome to episode 39 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got G here with me. Yo, you yo. already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that's been liking, thumbs up, subscribing, all that good shit. Continue to do that. We appreciate everybody from the bottom of our hearts. Oh, yeah. But yeah, man, got our third guest in the building. G, how you doing today? I'm Woo. doing real good. How y'all doing? Pretty doing good. good, doing good. Glad so, to have you in the building, man. You're, you're definitely somebody that um has a different insight on life. So we wanted to get you in into the show and just like pick your brain a little bit. So we're glad, <laughs> yeah. we're happy you came by. So uh, let's get right into it, man. Uh, John came up with a good list. Yeah, and, um, had a couple questions. You yeah, know? yeah. The first question is: Are horoscopes real? See, and like with horoscopes and stuff that involves like trying to. I guess like predict who you are as a person when it almost feels like that stuff is kind of unpredictable. You have to take a step back and like regardless of what you see on Google and stuff like that, what do you feel like when you read your horoscope? Like have you actually like made the time to try and investigate it and stuff like that? And I feel like it's going to resonate with some people and it's going to resonate with different, you know, like it just depends who you are basically is what I'm trying to say because for you, that information might not even be relevant for you in this lifetime. It's just like, are you going to apply it in some way? Do, do you feel like that's something that could actually help you, like, elevate in some way? Or, like, is it constructive? If not, then, honestly, it's like, well, okay. Yeah. But it's all about energy and stuff, so it's like. Sometimes it's, I don't know, sometimes it's correct for me. And then there's some days I'm like, nah, I try to make it correct. Shit, bro. I try to make it correct. Hear that shit. I try to like put the, you know, Is the it pieces gonna be together. Is them shits all the time? And I'm just yeah. like, this guy, man. I'm like, yo, it, it was spot on. There was some that were like really yeah. spot on. I ain't gonna lie. But there's a trick to that, bro. Yeah. Like Aren't there's like a. Programming yourself. Yeah. It's like, it's like yeah. oh, that's what's gonna happen. So you already subconsciously think like that's exactly. what's gonna be like. Yeah. And I feel like it, you give, you give the horoscope the horoscope control of your life bro because like you look at it that day and it's like if it says it's gonna be a bad week now you're like oh fuck it's gonna be a bad you're week yeah fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like no it, it might not just like you nah, know what i'm saying yeah, live, that your, life. That live actually, your life i just recently like turned off my horoscope thing i don't know if you heard of a um co-star or whatever like it mm -hmm. just recently i guess recently came up because my cousin told me about it and i was just like oh what is that? that's crazy it like tells you about yourself based on like all of these planets that were in alignment in a specific position in the universe the day you were born like the time you were born and how that energy might have influenced you because like we're all water so that's what it's based off like how these energies are affecting your energy mm. and like how that might have affected your mood and like your psychology and the way like perfect little molecules were placed at that moment and that's getting a little bit deep so i'm gonna stop right there right <laughs> right it's like <laughs> When you see that shit coming up on your phone every day, a part of you is just like, damn, like, you know, that's true. And you start digging so deep into it, you start to apply those things to yourself, even though, like, this thing is only assuming. Everything is about free will. So it gets crazy. I was like, yeah, let me get away with those yeah. notifications because I yeah. can't. Right now. <laughs> I that's don't know, true. man. Like, I feel like people just, it's a way to just, like, put people into a category. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're a Scorpio. That's why you act like that. It's like, no, nah. you might just be a dick. Oh, you're a Gemini. <laughs> yeah, you're two faced. You know like, like, what? Like, you're a twin. <laughs> like, what? You don't even know me. Legit. You like, don't. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, like bro. I'll be doing that. It's though. just stereotyping, in my yeah. opinion. I be doing sometimes it. it's right, but I feel like you make your own destiny, period. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, something could tell you, oh, it's going to be a bad day or it's going to be a great day. It's up to you to make it what you make it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's just my opinion on that, man. But That's true. That's real. That's that is like real. an objective truth. You can't even deny that. Like, your mood is going to determine right. what you do and, like, how you act out in your day. So. Yeah, right. I follow a page for Gemini's. I follow it. <laughs> I've told you he loves that shit, bro. I, follow, I, it. I swear. But that's good because it's telling you about, like, bits and pieces of your personality like there are energies that you're going to be born with by default but then mm -hmm. you incorporate your free will and it's yeah. like all right now everything else that happens is up to you how you interpret this how you make this your life so it's like right. it'll help you it's good for insight but don't take it as like yeah like that's it's you know? black and white like yeah. that's law and shit it's yeah not. but uh, yeah man moving on to the next the next question johnny boy wanted to ask when you talk about alignment, what exactly are you talking about? Are you talking about like chakras and stuff like that, or? 
that's like if you want to apply it like with labels again it's like if you want to categorize it as alignment referring to that because that's like what mainstream media has been like oh alignment get your chakras aligned right that's just like another phrase for basically saying are you in tune with yourself and like where you are right now how do you feel like do you really know how you feel or are you just assuming based off like oh i woke up i feel decent but like really going within like am i satisfied with my connection to that which is great or whatever i believe in like with my health like with my mental state with my emotional state the way i respond to things like alignment is basically like being just in tune with your presence and like the way you think and feel and just like your overall well-being pretty much it's like checking in like do you check in are you in alignment? You checking in? Do you check in That's with deep. yourself? Yeah, that That's is the fact. We deep. all need to do yeah, that more, bro. Crazy. Sometimes you need to check in and check yourself. Yeah. For real, for real. That's true. But but yeah, man, it's crazy because uh, we've known you since high school. We never really, you know, talked back then or anything like that. But I'm assuming that you weren't the same person back then that you are now. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about, like your journey and how you started on it. You know what I mean? To be to become the person you are today. And that's understandable. I, like, figured that might have been something, like, just in the air because it's, like, I went ghost for two years. I blacked out on social media. I was, like, my Facebook's done, my Instagram's done, my Twitter's done, I'm done. I need to take a step back Mm -hmm. and figure out what I'm doing because at the time I was hanging out with, like, not the wrong crowd of people, but just allowing myself to, like, slip into a different mindset because I was angry at certain things or feeling bad about certain things. And it's, like, if you don't check in... feels like you just lose yourself in the environment and I'm smoking weed a lot and just doing a lot of crazy shit and not really paying attention to what was going on and I found myself in a situation where I had the opportunity to like seclude and go out into nature and really like spend that one-on-one time with me yeah. quiet mm. you know not scrolling on social media trying to figure out how to think it's like you can't think like that do. man like yeah, that's, that's just impossible in my opinion that's true the happiest it's times I've ever been was just like in the in the forest. I yeah, swear. bro. When what, we yeah, were in, in like, the springs. I was so happy, bro. I couldn't like, Yo, I, I felt like I could breathe We were better. paddling like down the river, energy, bro. Yeah. There was like, monkeys. Oh, yeah. yeah, for real. Like, nah, that's a vibe, man. Like being out in nature, it really lets you know like where you belong. Yeah. And it's not inside a house on technology. Like you belong outside, bro. Like. Breathing. in nature like yeah, yeah like getting where you fresh air like barefoot that's really how i felt <laughs> like i remember i was i was on shrooms we was, you know what i'm saying and i was just standing on this Bye. little hill bro it was like this little hill overlooking the water and it was so blue and the the leaves are so green so it was it was beautiful oh majestic yo. no way that was the word of the day yo. that day i swear to god that's amazing majestic i'm glad that you said that that's everything crazy. was majestic oh, it was fucking if crazy if sway sees this he's gonna swear, be like, he's, nah, gonna, he's be, gonna shit himself yeah he is. he's gonna shit himself he's gonna be like but wow. not for real bro it, everything was majestic and i was like i remember saying out loud i'm like i could see how the indigenous people would just like have love to live right here like you're right next to the water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, bro, majestic, that's bro. the way of life, man. Like that shit's amazing. Yeah, I was barefoot. You know, my feet, my, <laughs> <laughs> my feet weren't. They didn't handle Yo, it right. My dog is <laughs> now. They weren't used to it. It's like you gotta recalibrate. It's like, hold up, what you doing? You're not wearing shoes. You gotta yeah. get calluses on your foot, boy. I came back. I look like I, bro. I went to war. No, nah, my dog shit looked like he had been climbing cliffs with them bitches there. <laughs> barefoot. <laughs> Straight up. Nah, dog. that's funny, man. Now we had a good time though. We saw monkeys and all that crazy stuff. Wait, 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 wait. This is a this is here? Florida. Yeah. You yeah. saw monkeys? Silver yeah. f- Silver Springs, uh Ocala, Florida. We actually oh, have a picture of it. I'll I'll post it. Yeah, you know, bro. I'll, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing, bro. Yeah. You should go for real. Yeah. For real. Yeah, they were swinging, swinging by. Were they was actually, or were y'all just tripping? And no, it's no. Just no. Like, Damn, there's some monkeys in there too, right? People there? have asked us that. Nah, there's real. They're little, like yeah, they're little monkeys. Very but funny. They're just in the forest and shit, and like it was beautiful, man. We saw manatees, fucking all types of shit. It was amazing. I actually, got a but picture of it. Yeah. yeah, back to the point is yeah, like going out into nature is definitely, definitely something that you need to do. And I feel like you need to do it more often than not. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I like going to Green Springs right here, too, and just, like, just chilling, bro. Just yeah. vibing. Yeah, like, it's, it's kind of like, yo, just detach for it. Almost like unplugging. I know y'all probably seen that phrase floating around or some kind of meme talking about, like, unplug yourself from the Matrix. Like, go out into nature and really, like, tune into the world around you. Like, the real world. Like, all this shit is just fabricated. Like, yeah, that's you a fact. Cool, but, like, that's true. 
Yeah, social well, media, your like, phone yeah. is not the yeah. real world, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's a real world out there, and it's beautiful. People don't even realize it. They're scared. They're scared to go out there. Because it's going to force them to look at themselves. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to. They don't yeah, want nah, to. Like, bro, you want to find yourself, go out to the middle of the woods, go out to like somewhere beautiful in nature, and just do some shrooms. That's why, like, yeah. some you'll find, yeah, you'll you'll find yourself. You'll, you'll find you'll some find shit you, real quick. You'll find yourself real quick in a deep hole or in heaven. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta decide which way you're gonna crawl to. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but it's good nah, for you though. For it's real, it's real. good for your uh, it's good for your health. It's not bad. But yeah, you know, I see you doing a lot of readings and stuff like that too. Um, my question was like, what is like the weirdest thing that's like ever ever happened to you? <laughs> Like, throughout your career of reading and, you know... That kind of work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd say the weirdest thing was feeling like someone was watching me. I tapped into, like, an energy of somebody who might have been slightly spiteful and stuff like that. And it's like, you got to realize that when you get, like... When you just start to tune in more, you get a little more sensitive. And that's with everybody. I'm not saying, oh, it's just me, you know, because this, that, or the other. Everybody has that capability. And it's like this slight disturbance or whatever. So for a long time, it felt like I couldn't like think for myself. It always felt like somebody else was hearing my thoughts. And that shit is weird because it's like, this is my space. You know, I'm thinking I'm safe in my own mind. And then it just feels like you just feel a presence. And it's not like a bad presence. It just feels like just weird. Like the vibes are off. And then this person coincidentally reaches out to you when that feeling like comes in. So that's, I would say, is the weirdest thing. Because everything else you kind of just like... All right, well, that's a new experience, but that was definitely the weirdest thing, really feeling like someone was genuinely, like, keeping tabs on me, but, like, in another place. <laughs> that's, Whoa. That's kind of, like... <laughs> that's fun. Yo, that's crazy, dog. I'm not gonna lie. sorry. I would no, go crazy. Sorry. I'll start going crazy. I, I swear. I'll start running. I, I don't know. I'll start running around, like, nah, Ricky Bobby. It's like, it's, like, not, like, it doesn't feel like someone is standing over your shoulder. It's more, like realizing that you like you just let someone in and almost like you didn't have boundaries up like ethereally like you set up a conscious connection with this person or whatever and i don't know it feels like on some level you're leaving a boundary open where people can just like even if they're thinking bad thoughts about about you that shit is it's an energy form so it's gonna head towards you and eventually you're gonna feel that shit so that's kind of what i mean not like literally like Pussy, yeah, yeah. Like, I've been going shit. overboard like, with that shit asses, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> anything will happen to me. Niggas is hating. Yo. They send them bad energy, bro. Yeah, that's like it. that's how I be feeling though for real. So like sometimes just I got it. Be confident. Protect yourself with yeah. your own intentions. Like I'm doing this for my good, my growth. So like yeah, protecting your energy is definitely something that's important, bro. Like, yeah. I talk, I talk, talk to about you about that, that all, all the time, time bro. It's like, cause... protect your energy, man. Everybody doesn't want the best for you. Yeah, seriously. Like, despite their, you know, their acting, you know what I'm saying? Like, they might act like they want the world for you, but in all reality, they're preying on your downfall behind your back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got to be careful, protect your energy, know who, you know what I'm saying? When you, like, in my opinion, when you get a bad vibe from somebody, like, that's a sign right there of just, like, yeah, you may as well create that. Love history. them from afar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it actually happened the other day. Yeah, like yeah. that That's That bad. bad energy is like, I don't want to be nowhere near that shit. I don't yeah, care if you're... Like it a, could be my own thing. brother, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's weird, bro. It's a weird feeling. You're asking yourself, like, where did this even come from, bro? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. It's, it's weird, but... Yeah, you definitely got to protect your energy, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. That shit's definitely important. Big time, big time. Man, that's For crazy. Sure. But... Another thing that's important is uh, self-reflection. Self-reflection. So how important would you say that self-reflection is? I would say self-reflection is important so long as you're actually applying yourself when you, you know, face yourself and you actually come to realize certain things about yourself. So let's say, for example, you have a tendency to spontaneously have angry outbursts. Like, are you going to catch that? and actually handle it and take action to become better kind of like just be more mindful of when you have these outbursts or you know how to respond to a situation better instead of just being like oh that's something that i do and then being like well i don't want to face that and then you know look the other direction so i think as often as you actually feel you can actually dedicate yourself to applying what you've learned i would say is like that's how important it is so it really depends on the person how much you think you need to be doing that otherwise just stay in flow like 
don't overwhelm yourself Stay trying to flow. fucking stare at yourself in the mirror and figure yourself out piece by piece like every second of the day because that shit will drive you crazy too yeah. yeah that's a fact yeah. that's a fact I feel like a lot of people you know what I'm saying like you know I'm gonna speak for like you know Hispanic households like we got we like I know people in my family we gotta deal with anger bro you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that's, like, it's so, we're so fiery and so quick to just jump on something. It's, like, that that is important. You're right. Like, you got to self-reflect and, like, really break it down like a problem. Like, okay, what is setting me off and how can I handle my emotions when they come up better than what I have been? Like, that's true. That's, that's like, important. Yeah. yeah. That's like Nipsey when he said, um, you got to learn how to, like, react when you're disrespected. Yeah. That says a lot about you too. Yeah, like, it does. Yeah. What's your real power? Because power, I learned that power isn't having power. That's not real power. Power is knowing how to use that power. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how to use the power for real. Like it's. You know what I'm saying? Like the king didn't behead everybody. He would spare some people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, just yeah. like you. You know, you gotta have a heart too. You can't be a fucking menace to society all the time. There was yeah. some. There's some out there, but. Yeah, like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dog be a dick bro nah, nah. i'm a good person man <laughs> now you are bro at, at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom there's a really really good dude bro that that's why you're deep. still my friend that was because you're an asshole sometimes mud, and when you get past the bombs <laughs> and everything you know you dust it off that's a fact yeah. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> that's a fact bro nah that's true that's true that's i think funny. everybody is like that to some degree it's like we yeah. all got our shit. We all got our shit. Yeah, we all got our our demons, you know? All right. Right. But yeah, man, uh, something that I want to bring up is uh, what would be your first tip for someone trying to become enlightened? Don't try to become enlightened. Mm. <laughs> no, <you> <laughs> that <laughs> my that's good. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. For real, for nah, real. that's good. Nah, but for real. That's how you feel? That's how I feel because why is that? Because one of the things I wanted to talk about was basically like don't let a label change who you are. Because mm. when you start trying to be like, oh, I want to be spiritual instead of just becoming aware of your own spirituality and how that makes you a better person for yourself and for others from a place of love, not like oh, I do this so da da da, you know, placing yourself above other people. You can really just allow yourself to go on that evolutionary process, like seamlessly, just being in flow and not being like oh. I want to be enlightened. I want to be more spiritual. And then trying to change yourself and remove and add and shit. And basically, like, fabricating yourself. Yeah, you lose yourself. Yeah. You end up losing yourself. That's deep. Yeah. That's really nah, deep. facts. Yeah, that's true. Because who gives a fuck about a label? Exactly. Who cares? Because at the end of the day, I mean, you take this Jordan off my, my shoe, you know, people would be like, what the fuck it's is that? Shoe. Like, what is that? <laughs> I mean, it is... You know, <laughs> but nowadays people are like, "What the fuck is that? Like, what, you get those from Kmart? Like, yeah, it facts. doesn't matter. Like, I bro, just, they're like, still covering my feet the same way. Like, bro, like judgment. Like, yeah, everybody like, wants to, but it's like because everybody's been told like what to value. Mm-hmm. What does this mean to you? Oh, and then it's like assuming like this is what you're gonna develop as thinking about this one subject. Like, this is what beauty is. This is what respect means. This is what loyalty means. This is what you know." being intelligent means like we keep trying to define all these things it's just like what's morally correct to you how to be a good person to yourself and others and that's it just like right like baseline yeah. just do good and be good i agree the I universe agree. is always watching yeah no nah, facts that energy is always gonna come back bro like the energy you put out into the universe is always gonna come back man yeah that's why like just align yourself with people with the same energy that you have in the same you know going down values. the same path that yeah values that's a really good word values. with the same values that you have because everybody doesn't have the same integrity you know some people are quick to sell out you know what i mean that's and big. like yeah that's, that's crazy that word literally came to mind while i was sell driving out. here i was just like sell out like sell out not losing yourself and like mm-hmm. it's like oh i'm a musician now so i'm gonna do everything mainstream rappers are doing yeah. to you know right. the game and shit and it's like yeah, Before and that's something did. that me and John talk about for the podcast. And we're like, you know, like, dead ass, we don't, you know, we'll pick up um, good advice from, you know, people that have done it. But at the same time, it's like, we're not trying to copy anybody. We're not trying to be like a news station or just like, we're trying to do our own yeah. thing and find our own identity. Yeah. And however long that takes, 
fuck it. That's how long it takes. Yeah. But it's, it's going to be us. It's a you marathon. Know what I'm like, it's beautiful, though, because you can really see, like, just the content evolving and really like you guys as people evolving, getting more comfortable. And, like, when you open up a space like this, you're literally allowing yourself to not only, like, expand your mind and just talk about things from, like, a clean slate and then, like, other be- others being involved in that same thing and feeling inspired by what you say or whatever. So right. It's just like... I feel like it's important for for people to dialogue, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's important for people to get together and even if you don't agree to give your opinion and just like, you know. Yeah, cuz some people will disagree too and that's okay. You exactly. know what I mean? Like we just want you guys to give like your opinion, tune in with us, you know what I mean? And Yeah. Just yeah, just have a dope conversation. That's a fact, man. Engage, you know, like we're all humans having this experience. Like why can't we talk? Why does it feel like everything is just like likes and approvals and, you know, trying to make it or something instead of like yo let's talk about some real shit or let's just talk in general so we can right. understand not only ourselves but like what we got going on and just humanity because it feels like nobody really knows what the fuck's going on everybody's at a loss for words and like how to do anything so i think community is really important too and the mm. conversation is a perfect platform to do that because you just bring people together you know yeah right that's all that yeah matters. nah right. that's a fact bro community community is definitely important i feel like it takes a community to raise a child you know what i'm saying because when you send your kid to school or wherever you know daycare whatever like they're away from you and that's a community that's helping raise your kid yeah you know what i'm saying you don't know that teacher you know what i'm saying like you met them a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago maybe a couple years ago at most and it's like yeah, they could be doing anything. Yeah, like, like, I mean? like community, <laughs> taking care of the community is the number one thing. That's yeah. where prosperity really comes from. You know what I mean? Real talk. Real talk. That's true. But yeah, man. We're going to have to start wrapping it up, guys. Yeah. We appreciate everybody that liked, subscribed, shared, all that good shit. We appreciate G for coming in and appreciate sharing you. and enlightening us. And um, yeah, man, hopefully you continue on your journey and it's a successful one. We're going to put, put her Instagram, too. Yeah, we're going to put her, her Instagram in the video, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. It's been yours truly. Okay. Jump.